I've attained an underhook. And, you know, this is presumed, this leg is back. You know, we're two righties and a staggered stance. Maybe we get to an over-under position. I'm under here, over on the opposite side. I'm controlling that other arm. Now I'm going to step to the outside, pull on the underhook, lower my level, and then I'm going to hit that Ochigari right there. Because it puts him in a open, like an open stance, a square stance. is to take my collar tie hand and cross pop his elbow and just dig under. There's an underhook right here. <laughs> if he's got me up here, it's the same kind of thing. You know, if I'm fighting here, I take the opposite hand and I pop his elbow to create an opening and I dig for that underhook. You want your underhook good and deep. I go up over his shoulder right here. And usually you're raising up on an underhook. See what I'm doing right here? So, Try that cross pop, you know, it's the first inch. We'll do different ones throughout these skills. But from here, if, even if you're tied up or whatever, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step outside to the number one position, we call this, and we're gonna tie Sabaki. I'm gonna take big steps right now. When you're competing, you may shorten them into little stutter steps, but I want you to see this movement. So I'm gonna take a big step, pull on the underhook. That makes him square. I lower my level and I'm doing a, a hooking motion right here. Same time I'm grabbing and I'm driving. It's almost like a double with this hand, but the other side, not just a trip, but this kind of motion, like a compass. You know, where the needle's on the ground and the compass is making an arc. But what we want when we're fighting is a guy standing square. The problem is so many guys stagger their stance. And if he's staggered with this foot back, you know, the other way, I can't reach that foot. I'm vulnerable. He can reach down and scoop me or something. So setups are everything. But let's cover again. So we're going to uh, we grab this side. For example, this guy's a righty's right now. He's got this collar tie. He's giving me hell. So I'm going to take my left hand, pop his elbow open, and dig under for that collar tie, or for the underhook right here. Now I'm going to step to the number one position and using the momentum that that generates i'm going to draw this back foot forward hopefully pulling on the end of it. real quick lower your level drive into ochigari inside trip you notice i'm grabbing the leg it's kind of a hybrid almost like a cross between a double and an inside trip but lower your level way down and drive all right try that have one guy get you in a collar tie cross pop Dig for that underhook, step to number one position, swinging, lower your level and hit it. Here, so we're going to go film. So I've attained an underhook. And, you know, this is presumed, this leg is back. You know, we're two righties and a staggered stance. Maybe we get to an over under position. I'm under here, over on the opposite side. I'm controlling that other arm. Now I'm going to step to the outside, pull on the underhook, lower my level, and then I'm going to hit that Ochigari right there. Because it puts him in a open, like an open stance, a square stance. So what I'm trying to do is draw that rear leg forward. Let's look at it again. Is this a good angle, Steve? Perfect, yeah. So I've attained the underhook, and what we were doing before he's beat me on this collar tie, I release the hand, pop it, come under, and I close up that space. I keep my elbow down so that he doesn't get under me. Keep my elbow down, but I look for a, a wrist. And now I'm going to step outside. i got to create motion. If he's really staggered, I can't reach an inside trip. That's a good attack for me. I can't reach it. Yeah. So I'm going to step out. And I'm going to pull on the under. There it is. I'm going to fight there. Okay? Draw the rear leg.